lot of the spares are peating. Uh, I'm working on just a big piece of wood. It's uh, not plywood, it's a solid board as far as I can tell. Um, it uh, helps dissipate the heat, the parts won't stick to it, and it won't wreck it. Uh, it's nice because you can pick up and move the boards anytime you want uh, if you need to change projects. This is a flux pen. Uh, it's got some cool chemicals in it. And what it does is it deoxidizes. Uh, I've already tried. And with the amount of solder that comes tinned on these, this tabbing wire, it will not stick if you don't do this part. That's all you need. Make sure you tap it up and set it off to the side. Now, I'm trying to, I can't see my LCD very well, so I hope I'm doing this on screen. All you do is take your tabbing wire, flatten it out nice and good, and line it up. I should probably do the top first. I guess first things first, I need to tin my tip. This uh, has been on for a little while. So it is nice and hot. Okay, it's very have just a flat little section of solder sticking to the tip. Now me being right handed and the soldering station being on my left, this cord does not want to cooperate. see it coming out flat and shiny, you know you're melting. A little bit of smoke is fine too. Just keep the tip flat and push down evenly. Now since I started in the middle, I've got to take the iron and start working in the other direction to make sure it's completely flat. The end stayed down and then sometimes you might have to press down on it with a pencil to hold it. Uh, I use these. These are tile spacers. They're used for holding tiles apart when you're setting them so that you can get a uniform gap. Sounds exactly like something I could use for solar cells. So I've actually gone ahead and tabbed 36 cells. And we're going to do four strings of nine. And when we're done with these, we're going to leave them face down. The only real trick to this is use these tile spacers to hold everything together. And then for the back of this, we are going to use a little bit of solder. Just press it together. If need be, get yourself extra weight. Uh, I don't have one handy. I forgot. Because I'm done. So that's my salt and my pepper shaker. So first things first, all these little white pads get flux. Now the whole back of this holds the negative charge, I think that's right. And uh, these little white pads are designed and put on here so that you can solder to them.
put some weight on, that way there's some resistance when you try to move them. Now I've tried before with the jig and leaving these in. Don't do that. It's very bad. Because when you go, if you are dumb like me and you forget and leave them in, you've got to have solder. Just not enough. I realize you can't really see what I'm doing here. This is going to be a pencil job. And once again, just trying to get this as flat as possible. As long as you heat up both parts enough, the solder should flow readily from part to wire. And I realize you can't see this, but I'll be able to show you on the other side. Difficulties of filming. I can't exactly hold the camera in my mouth while I do this. Sometimes if you're not making good contact, just run your soldering iron across your uh, sponge. And it goes right there. First one's the hardest one because the wire wants to spring up. Building a jig for this is preferential because otherwise uh, when you get to the end of your string you might notice you have a curve. And there's not a lot you can do about that once it's uh, set. The only thing I have to say about jigs is I have not built a successful one yet. So screw it. My first panel came out okay. So far this one's looking pretty good. So now slide these out. Make sure you slide from the side, don't lift up. Now, you got two cells tabbed together. All you do is continue on with this until you've got nine in a row, and then set them off to the side. And, uh, I guess my next video will be how to uh, attach the bus wire.